Okay, and this is a, uh, this is a case, uh, some images share with me uh, from uh, my former colleague, uh, Dr. Eric Rosenbaum, who's a, a pathologist with an interest in microbiology and specialization in microbiology. So he took some really nice pictures and shared these with me. So this is something that's you know, relatively or quite common, actually, but, but we don't always get to see a good example of it. So does anyone uh, recognize what this is? Is it some sort of louse egg? Indeed it is. It is a louse egg. And there's a closer view. Doesn't this look like something like out of the movie Aliens or something? It's like it's like a little alien all crouched up in there ready to just hatch out. And Or like uh, if you used to play, I used to play Half-Life, that video game, and the alien head crabs, they would jump on you and try to like attack your, your head. And they had like little claws like that. Uh, that's what it reminds me of. Super creepy and terrible. So this is a knit, right? The knits are the, you know, if you've ever seen someone who has head lice, they're very common. You can see the crawling, you know, uh, adult and little tiny uh, nymph or baby forms of the louse. And then the eggs get attached to a hair shaft. So this is the hair shaft here. And then this is the egg. And there's the embryonic, I guess, the, the baby louse in there getting ready to hatch out. This little uh, door on the top, I think is called the operculum, if I recall. It's like a little trap door to, to release the the, um, the mite once it hatches. And then here it's kind of glued on to the hair shaft. It's really quite cool to see up close, but also disturbingly creepy. Um, and that's a closer view of its little nasty little claws there. Ugh. Horrible, right? I hate it. And then if you're squeamish and you don't want to see a close-up louse, close your eyes. So there's a, there's an adult louse um, with, uh, with its nastiness uh, right there too. So pretty, pretty awful um, uh, little guys there. And if you want to be more disturbed, I've got a video of a different type of louse, a body louse, which uh, my friend Jorge uh, Roman shared with me. And this is from uh, an indigent care uh, a clinic and the, uh, the patient was homeless and had, um, had uh, body lice. So something I, I've not encountered in practice. Uh, head lice very common, but I've not seen body lice. Uh, very, very similar. Um, but what's kind of cool about the video is you can see uh, the blood in the uh, GI tract and the peristalsis of the of the blood inside the GI tract of the louse. Incredible video uh, he took with a, with a uh, smartphone up against a microscope in clinic. So you can see right there, which, uh, you know, it definitely takes some practice to stabilize that. And he got an incredible quality shot here. And this is like a mineral oil uh, preparation where the, the live louse is put on the slide. Similar to what you do if you scrape for scabies, you can scrape off the skin surface onto a slide and put some mineral oil and then cover slip it and then you can examine it under the scope with no stain um, and see the organism still uh, still living so so that's a pretty good example of, of that thank you Jorge for sharing that okay so lice head lice a uh, pediculus humanus capitus is the head louse so uh, do not do not like them nasty little things Okay, any questions about uh, lice before we move on? All right.